Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first out of 10 videos coming up where I'm testing foundations with olive undertones. I am a person that struggles a lot finding the right shade for my skin. I just thought I had a warm undertone. But after testing out so many different foundations with warm undertones, I realized that I still couldn't find the right match for my skin until one day I went into Sephora and wanted to swatch foundations in person so that I could find the closest shade to my skin and I came across the Smashbox Studio Skin and this one is in 1.05 Skin Tone Fair under Undertone Warm Olive so it sparked my interest as to the Undertone Olive and I've been researching since then and finally I found 10 different foundations from Ulta and I ordered them and now that I have them here I want to test them out for you a lot of foundations will pull very pink or very like beige, orange or too yellow so it's been a journey finding the right shade for my skin and I hope that I can be helpful to others struggling with the same thing now originally I wanted to do 10 days of foundation testing this out but as a first time mom to an almost one year old it's really hard and I can, I can only bring you one good quality video every week. So I hope that you can stick around and find out what these foundations are gonna be. The first foundation I'm testing out today is from Elsie. This one is the Micro Silk Foundation. So if you want to find out my thoughts about this foundation and mostly the shade keep on watching I'm going through a weird stage in my hair where I guess all the postpartum hair loss that happened months ago now it's like growing back I started noticing on my bangs that some pieces were long and then I have these weird ones on the back that are just growing and so I, I cannot I, I can't deal with my hair right now so please just ignore that all of the foundations that I'm going to be talking about for the next 10 weeks, I got them all off of Ulta. Today's foundation is going to be the Elsie Micro Silk Foundation. The description is not the same as the box, so I'm going to read to you what the box says. Elsie Micro Silk Liquid Foundation blends effortlessly onto your skin, leaving the appearance of a smooth, flawless, matte finish. The lightweight application diminishes any skin perfections and enhances a healthy glow to the skin for day long coverage with minimal touch ups required. It is says is lightweight, anti-aging, blendable, mild transfer resistant, paraben free, vegan, gluten free, cruelty free and HD coverage. This sounds like the perfect foundation. It claims it has green tea extract, white tea extract and vitamin E. This foundation only has 12 colors and I picked up the warm ivory it says it's a light medium with olive undertone and as you know all the foundations that I picked I specifically picked them that had an olive undertone my face is lighter than my body because I I do wear SPF every day whether I go out or not I'm going to try my best to show you my skin color this is what I'm working with not a lot of scarring acne scarring left I did have a few pimples um, last week, but they're starting to fade. This skin color is a lot lighter than my neck and my shoulder. I lower the brightness of the camera so you can see the color a little better. You see my veins are mostly like a green tint, but some of the veins are kind of hard to tell because they kind of look blue, a mixture between green, blue, and a little purple. I try my best picking out all the foundations that have that would range in the lightest and maybe medium color. So this one is Warm Ivory. The bottle looks like this, and it does have a pump. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be dark. <laughs> That's definitely liquidy. Here's a swatch. On my right side I'm gonna use the brush and on the left side I'm gonna use a a damp sponge. Oh yeah that's so dark.
What I do like about it is the it truly feels lightweight and it doesn't feel greasy either. It doesn't say that it's full coverage. So I do say it's making a pretty good job diminishing some of the marks. Let's, let's do the sponge. pretty crazy huh? let me get closer so we can compare this color to my skin color hmm. it just feels like it's a little darker than my skin right now but the undertone is not terrible I don't know comparing it to like the rest of my body and like my arms where I get the most Sun um, I feel like it still pulled a little too orange so at the moment I'm gonna try to blend it down my neck and finish the rest of my makeup and come back with more thoughts on it okay I know I said that I was gonna come back with my makeup finished but I couldn't help myself to um, play around with this with this foundation and I wanted to figure out what was wrong with it I know you're probably thinking what's wrong with your face Hold on, give me one moment. So I have this NYX color correcting primer. It's a green, it has a green tint in it. I've heard that you can put green drops on your foundation to help it change the undertone into a more olive undertone. So I wanted to test that out. I also have this white corrector. If the undertone was correct, then maybe I just needed a few drops of this, right? To my surprise, I ended up finding out this with this didn't exactly help with the undertone. I'm gonna get closer to show you what I mean. I need to turn this down. Okay, hopefully you can see that. This color here is the original color. As you can tell, it's pretty dark compared to, you know, my body, this one here. This one here is very light. That's when I put in the white concealer mixed with the foundation. And even though I did try to put a little more of the foundation, it wasn't, the undertone wasn't really right. It started to look a little bit pink on my skin. So what I did is I added this green corrector in there and it turned out a little too green just because I wasn't sure how much green to put in it. I was starting to balance it out between the original color and the green, and it turned out like this. And this turned out to be a lot closer to my skin tone, right? To my neck and my shoulders. So this side is very orange, right? Compared to my neck. And then there's this side. So I'm gonna finish my the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back with more thoughts. Okay, after some major technical issues, I am finally back. Um, and I have some thoughts on this foundation. First of all, I wanna say that this that this foundation is, is pretty nice. I like the feeling of it. It's pretty lightweight. The thing with the transfer resistant, I'm not sure about that because I've had this foundation for at least 30 minutes and I still feel even though like my skin doesn't feel tacky, it feels pretty nice. I am still noticing some transfer if I do rub, if I do rub my face. Um, I didn't set it with any powder. I just wanted to test it out by itself. I'm not going to review the foundation for its formula. There are already a lot of reviews about that. The main reason I am making this video is to judge the color and to see if it is fair to light, olive undertone friendly. Personally, for me, if you if your skin tone is like mine, I don't feel like warm ivory color is the best uh, suited for that. As I showed you earlier, it is pretty dark. I did have to tweak it a little bit with some white corrector and some green color correcting. And at the beginning, it did seem like it matched my, my skin tone completely. But the thing is that this foundation does oxidize. So at the moment, with the ring light in front of me, it doesn't seem like it's that much different from my skin. But if I walk to natural light in front of my window i will notice that it pulls a little orangey so maybe in the future i will do an update on this foundation unless i figure out a way that i can 
tweak it and make it work. But I'm honestly not sure how many people are willing to um, spend so much time trying to tweak their foundation. It's so much better and easier to just have the perfect shade and just apply it and get going, right? In the description box, I will put down the rest of the makeup application. I wanted to leave it pretty simple so it wouldn't take um, a lot of time. I didn't want to add a lot of color into it so that you can see the foundation um, as best as possible. I just have a little bit of bronzer and highlight. Come on, focus. I will link down below also a couple of videos that I found very helpful that explain or that go more in depth about light skin with olive undertone. It seems like it's very common to relate an olive undertone with medium to dark to darker skin, but there are people out there like me that are light and have a very uh, olive undertone. So my point in this series is to bring a little more awareness and help other olive undertone people out there. So when you're on a hunt for other foundations, you can have a reference to help you out and find foundations. This is especially true now that we don't have testers in Ulta or Sephora because of the situation that we're in. So you have to do your best judgment on picking the colors online and I mean, the colors that you see online a lot of times are way different than it is in real life. Lastly, I'm gonna insert swatches of it comparing to other foundations that I have available so that maybe you can get an idea of what it, what it looks like compared to these other shades. Okay, swatch time. This is the LC foundation in Warm Ivory. This one here is the Heart Candy in Olive. This one's the Good Trees in Light Beige. This one is the Bare Minerals in Light Natural 09. This next one is from Tarte, the Rainforest of the Sea in Fair Light Sand. Lastly, I have the Jane Iredell Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. This one is in BB6, I believe. As you can see, this one is from Hard Candy and it has a true olive undertone. Other one that I feel like has an olive undertone is from Tart, the Rainforest of the Sea, but this one is very light compared to the Elsie here, which pulls like a very beige color. And of course, there's my skin. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out for the next 10 weeks where I'll be bringing you more foundations with olive undertone in them and I'm here to test them out for you. So stick around. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.